Okay, so I wanted to talk about a trait that I think is really impor important for doctors. Um, I used to be the kind of person who was like, I don't really care how my doctor talks to me. All I really want is someone who can like fix my problem. And I still would pick someone who can fix my problem over someone who can be really sweet to me. But I think that really listening to your patient and showing that you really care and even if you don't understand what they're going through, really want to try and understand is super important. I think I listened to a panel yesterday and they've been stressing it a lot in class and a friend mentioned it, reminded me of being really nice and caring to your patients and I have wanted to make this video for all so it's not their idea, just in case they're watching. Um, but I just want to remind people that like you're going into medicine to help people and I mean there's Yes, you get paid well. Yes, it's so exciting to be in science, but at the end of the day, our jobs are to help people. And if that's not the main reason that you want to go into medicine, this is going to suck. Because there are going to be patients who are mad and angry and scared. And unless you understand what they're going through, then you're going to have a really sucky time with this. So, like, I've seen patients who are so uncooperative, who are so rude. But then you have to think about, it, like, what's wrong with them. Some patients that I've seen, they grew up in a really bad home. And if I had grown up in that kind of home, like, I'd be a, probably a bigger brat. And I'd probably throw, like, two bars or something instead of one. Like, I don't know. Like, you have to say, like, what kind, like, understand that patient. That patient had a rough childhood. Well, maybe they're like this, so I need to be a little more understanding. Or like, this patient is afraid that they have cancer, and they're freaking out. And I would be terrified, too, if I genuinely believed that I had cancer going on inside of me. So you need to, like, figure out what's wrong with them and try to ease their pains. And if a patient comes in, if someone says, I have this condition, then please, like, entertain the idea and try and be not call them like stupid in their assignment. When I went and I had that face thing that was wrong with me, I told you guys I had cellulitis. I also had bumps develop over my face. I went to the doctor again and I was like, I'm scared that I have these bumps on my face. And she just said, oh, it's acne. I was like, mm, like I really, ha I don't understand how it could be acne when it had such a rapid onset and it's all over my face. And she said, no, I just think it's acne. And I'm just like, how, like I actually, I, 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 I know I just talked about being all like, oh, like, your appearance doesn't matter, but I don't want, like, a thousand bumps over my face that just came out of nowhere. Like, that's not natural. And I wish she had done a little more to just be like, okay, like, I can tell you're a little nervous about this, and I will try and figure out if this is acne-related or not. Maybe it's just, like, if she had just said this is a reaction to the antibiotics and it'll pass, I, like, I think you're right about something, or just acknowledge that it was a little weird that the onset was so rapid and explained to me how it could be so rapid if it was just regular acne maybe that would have been better but she was just so set on her diagnosis that it just annoyed me so what I want to tell people like you pre-meds and med students is like don't be so set on whatever you're saying your patient is scared of this will acknowledge like okay that like this is a girl in her 20s and she's afraid she's bumps on her face like that's I don't want to just dismiss her like then she's in med school like she's obviously not like a dip tard you know like pay attention to her or even if your person has like no education level like people know what goes on with their bodies i know when i have acne and i know when there's something wrong with my face and you need to listen to your patient you need to understand them and you also need to understand that your patient is probably scared there i mean sometimes there's like a routine checkup you never know like, maybe they just come in because they have to, and there's nothing wrong. But sometimes if you come in and, well, what if the patient thinks you're pregnant? Like, well, does she want the pregnancy? Is she scared about it? Like, listen to your patient. And the best way I've really thought about, like, learning the idea of being, like, empathy and saying, you know, like, it, having someone tell you your problem and then just being like, okay, you know what? Like, even if you don't understand what's going through, just say, I can't imagine what you have been going through. This sounds so difficult and it has been packed in your life in so many ways and I will do my best to ease whatever I can of your pain. Like the having like a very strong level of empathy, the way that I think a lot of people try it is just listen to your friends rant about their problems. 
you know, like everyone's got problems. And I rant to my best friend and she literally is the sweetest person in the world. And she listens to me whine about things that I've whined about for years. And she still conveys so much empathy. And I genuinely believe she cares in how I feel. Even if she sometimes says the wrong thing. Because I'm a very like cranky person. And sometimes there is no right thing to say. And I think that also needs to be acknowledged. Sometimes no matter what you say is going to annoy the patient. And that's fine. You'll learn over time what that patient wants and dislikes. But just like listen to your friends. Say okay like if I were in this situation what would I want someone to say to me. And just try it out. Be that friend who will listen. Don't interrupt. And then just give them feedback. Even if there is no real solution. Just be an emotional comfort. Because a person is their emotions and physical stuff. And if your emotions really had no play on your health, then the placebo effect would not exist. You know, I mean, I don't know for sure, but like, I think your mind has such a huge impact on you that definitely, like, I think the placebo effect proves like you need to cater to the patient as like a mind and a physical component. So just practice on your friends, practice being empathetic. I know some people are born naturally empathetic like my best friend some people are gonna have to work on it to be even better but either way you have to get there before your doctor or maybe even third year when you start talking to patients but just practice 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 and you'll get there but I just really wanted to stress that because we as physicians and future physicians really need to be able to do this kind of thing and make sure that the patients know we care bye